Hi, Mike. Uh, Bill Davis here with Heinz Realty Group. Hey, uh, we talked the other day. I told you I wanted to show you a video that uh, something like what I showed my buyer that's interested in your place, but what I call it is a value video. Uh, what it will do is it will show you what your house will be, uh, what it's competing with, and what is sold around it to give you a really good idea of what the value is of your home. So just to kind of give you a quick little market update of uh, what I've been seeing, because I work with a lot of buyers and been working with a lot of sellers, so I see what kind of offers are coming in and what kind of offers we've been writing. And uh, right now, a lot of properties are sitting on the market, and there are not multiple offers on properties anymore. And it's giving buyers uh, an advantage right now because there's not any competition on a property that they want. So they're not writing multiple, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 over list prices, which we've been seeing the past couple months. And so the market's kind of slowing down. We're getting into the fall. So I know that you're not putting your property on the market in the next couple of weeks. But when you know when you do decide that you're going to be putting on the market we got to evaluate where the market is what your competition is and uh, make sure that we price it right or else it's just going to be sitting on the market doing price reductions after price reductions until you finally hit a price point where the buyers are willing to write an offer and so it all depends on the competition the other properties that are available in your area and going from there okay so just to give you an idea right now, I only went a half mile out from your property uh, to really give you an idea. Uh, I, we didn't have to go too far out just because I know what the other houses are going for. And so these properties in green are the ones that are actually for sale right now. And the properties that are in blue are the ones that are have sold. And the ones in purple are the ones that are under contract right now. And let me just show you real quick of the houses that I'm using to show you what I that are going to compare to your house the most. So I did two bedrooms just because two bedrooms are the most properties that are going to have one bathroom. So it's hard to find three bad, bedroom, one bathroom houses. And uh, so I'll show you all everything. And then I also went up to four bedrooms just so you could see what's getting, uh, uh, you know, I know yours is only three bedrooms, one bathroom, uh, but I wanted to show you just because you even have that converted garage that could be you know it's extra living uh, square footage but it's not going to be able to be counted when an appraiser comes and values your property and so I only did up to 1700 I didn't do anything above 17 because that's going to be a lot larger than your property and I only went back to May May 1st so a couple months back okay so let's go into detail of what these houses are going for <clears throat> so you can see what houses are for sale right now. Okay, so there's a three bedroom, two bath, four bedroom, two bath, three bedroom, two bath, and here's a two and one uh, that is actually for sale right now. So look at the values that they're going for. There's 498, 499, and 598. As you can see, uh, this one's a lot larger square footage than you, you know, 200 square foot larger than yours. A little newer home, different, um, you know, so for 598. Uh, this one hasn't gone gone pending yet, so it's been two weeks now. You know, if your house isn't priced right and hasn't sold within two weeks, there's some kind of adjustments that will have to be made. Uh, usually within the first week, two weeks, multiple buyers have seen the property, and there's going to be offers written on your property if uh, it's nice and it's priced right. You can see this one at four ninety nine. It's been on the market for uh, over almost almost a year now 214 days smaller four bedroom two bath you can see that uh, there must be some issues with this property um, this one grove way 498 a little larger than your property three bedroom two bath but it's brand new on the market so that's just your competition within a half mile of your prop of your house okay so looking at the pending properties these properties went pending look at this one 42 days 14 days 29 days 20 days so I think 20, 29 days are, are fair. Um, so it's not too long on the market, but it is almost a month. So you could see the prices that they went pending at 549. This one, a uh, little smaller than yours. Three bedroom, two bath, and uh, 549 went pending uh, within 20 days. This one, 490, 1300 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, newer than your place. Um, 
Again, these lots are uh, larger than yours. Yours is about 8,000 something. These ones are larger. And uh, this one, 450, three bedroom, two bath. Uh, this one's on kind of a main road. So you can see the, just the, the properties around you within a half mile that are went pending. So between 445 and it goes all the way up to 549, as you can see, the, the areas definitely better than these ones. And you can see the price difference in that. So, but this one went pending. 445 and it's a two bedroom one and a half bathrooms one car garage and the uh, same square footage so pretty good comparable for your property though but took a while for it to go pending most buyers right now are looking for three bedrooms two bathrooms at minimum you know most buyers that I'm meeting with they don't even want to look at one bathroom houses so the price difference and the valuations are going to take a big hit because you only have a one bathroom and there's no two car garage so here's the properties that I've sold. So let me just show you, uh, and again, I only went up to 1700. Everything above 1700 is gonna be very hard to compare it, but look at these houses over on Northridge Drive, 620, 727, very nice area over there. And uh, this one's same size as yours, fully remodeled, had a swimming pool, and uh, sold for 620, sold within a week. And so that's a pretty good comparable. Um, but again, fully remodeled and uh, three bedroom, two bath. And this one, 727, it sold for 1,600 square foot, three and two, uh, two, two car garage, again, built in 63, newer than your place. The lot size, 1,200, more than a quarter acre and had a huge pool and fully landscaped, beautiful house, sold for 727. So that'd be like the best comparable uh, you know the best house on the market and you could see somebody really wanted it and they paid a lot more for it To get back to the other properties lots a lot similar to yours 585 sold for 565 smaller than yours This kind of neighborhood though and uh, This one note 550 sold for 569 took over a month to sell and so you can see that these houses took over a month to sell and they went for lower so between 550 565 Square footage is similar to yours. This one right here on Mount Diablo Street, 540, sold for 555, sold within 10 days. Same as yours, but it's a four bedroom. So here's a good comparable for your property. Three in one, it's a lot smaller than your property, but it has one bathroom. And it was listed at 499, it actually got 470. Okay, this one, again, three bedrooms, one bath, smaller than your property. Uh, 467 sold for 490 okay so it looks like it's really hard to get above the 500 price point with these one bathroom properties um, the square footage is helping you out so you might peak that 500 price point one thing that uh, I'm very good at and I've done in the past with a few of my other clients and I've actually done on my personal properties if I've had uh, some one bathroom houses and we were able to add on another uh, bathroom or even uh, add on a full another uh, master bedroom and a bathroom so then you know your property could actually be a four bedroom two bathroom house but we would have to see how much it would cost to do that and then what your return would be because selling as a one bathroom house it's going to be a little difficult breaking past that five hundred thousand dollar price point um, but if you were able to add on another bathroom and that would even add on a little more square footage you're easily going to break the five, 500. And I mean, you could see that these other houses are selling 550, 555, 565. And then, you know, depending on how nice you make this house, it gets a little, you know, a little higher. So that's definitely something that I would look into. And I, I would be happy to, you know, I know that we're waiting for the tenant to uh, move out. But once he's out, uh, I could stop by your place and we could kind of brainstorm some ideas that you have and bounce it off of me and I, I'll give you some of my ideas to see how much money you'd be able to make out of this property and bringing it to its full potential and uh, we'll go from there but my buyer is definitely interested and uh, I would like to preview it first before uh, showing it to them but then also if it's not the perfect property for them uh, you know I would be able to kind of just give you uh, my suggestions on what you could do to make as much money as possible off of this property and doing the right upgrades so uh, you if you have any questions uh, 
could, you could call me my cell phone 510-685-9178 again 510-685-9178 and we'll be in touch and uh, well, let me know uh, the dates uh, that are going to be available for the tenant that's going to be out and then we can go take a look at this place uh, I hope this video was helpful to kind of give you a very good understanding of what these uh, prices are going for within a half mile of your property that compared to yours, okay? Have a great day.